what's going on YouTube. Um, just want to make a quick video uh, while this topic's on my mind and I'm having some uh, coffee here, morning coffee. Um, I just wanted to kind of talk about the Niman area, which is the area where I live right now in Chiang Mai. And I just wanted to know, like, kind of make a discussion with you guys. Uh, what do you think, like, about this area? I mean, it honestly, it gets a lot of hype. Um, and I just want to know if you think it's overhyped. And uh, if you guys know of any other good areas to explore and check out. Because actually, I was kind of thinking about it when I was walking around this morning, like, looking for places to, like, get a coffee and maybe get some breakfast. And I know in, like, comparison, like, to, in comparison to Western prices, um, you know, this area and what you pay for a lot of things here is still really cheap. But after you've been here for a while, you start to adjust and you start thinking in terms of like, uh, I guess you get used to like, you know, the Thai buy here and you're, you're thinking like gets, I don't know, what am I looking for? Let me drink more of this. I need to wake up a little bit. So I think you're, my thinking kind of like adjusts to like, you know, the prices, the relative prices in the area compared to, you know, for example, what the Thai people spend here, the locals. And uh, you'll, I mean, if you didn't know already, like, you know, there's usually a couple prices that are set. There's one that's for um, foreigners and yeah, tourists here. And then there's also the, the price for you know the local Thai people so with that said um yeah I kind of just I mean for example this coffee um this coffee is unbelievably priced for I think this area I got this coffee right down the street and I honestly I just discovered this place on a whim just by chance I was I think I was getting ready to cross the street and right before I cross I glanced over my shoulder and uh, I just caught a glimpse of um, the coffee price. And this coffee here, um, the amount you get, which is comparable to a lot of the other coffee places here, which you'll spend about on average, maybe anywhere from 55 to 60 by, and even 70 by um, in some places, and higher depending on um, if you go to like you know, more of an upper class coffee place, so, or a touristy place, I should say. Um, but this coffee here is 10 by. Yeah, 10 by, can you imagine? And uh, I mean, this is like, honestly, a really good deal, especially for this area. I mean, honestly, I don't really have a good, I don't have a good uh, idea of what the prices are like outside. I mean, I kind of have a little bit but not like a full um yeah i don't know exactly what it's like but i've heard that it's significantly cheaper outside of neiman <clears throat> so anyways um yeah i guess um sorry i had to chug that <laughs> losing my train of thought here um so yeah, I guess my point is, is like, um, is the Niman area overhyped? Is it overrated? And uh, I definitely can feel like the prices are definitely higher here. And uh, I mean, again, compared to Western prices and what I would pay back at home, it's definitely like a good deal. Like, I'm, I mean, there's no comparison really like, what you're paying here is significantly cheaper, but when you've been living here, you like adjust to the relative prices, I guess. And yeah, I mean, I kind of just 
I've been thinking about it because like just walking around looking for something to eat, get a coffee, but also um, I have a few more weeks left in this place. Um, just about a month left, I believe. But yeah, a few weeks left and um, I'm really starting to think about like, okay, what area or where am I going to live after this in Chiang Mai? So, and I haven't really got outside, gone outside of my Niman bubble, really. I mean, honestly, I love this area. Like, this area is, um, this area is awesome. Like, despite it being really hyped up and I still really like this area. This area is cool. I like all the the cool looking like businesses are really interesting and you know in a way inspiring um, um, but yeah it's it's cool but at the same time I kind of want to like explore more and get to know more of other places of Chiang Mai and I've heard I mean a lot of other people have mentioned that there are better places so I want to know what are those places so guys I mean uh, let me know in the comment section below. What do you guys think? Do you have um, some places that you have in mind that you know that um, would be a good experience and perhaps better than Niman? Um, not just like price-wise. I mean, I can imagine that anywhere outside uh, the touristy areas, especially like Niman, um, are going to be significantly cheaper. But are there any like hidden gems? Um, for me to explore and for some others I mean you know this video I want to be kind of like a discussion and just you know for anyone that wants to know Chiang Mai not just the Niman part of Chiang Mai because I definitely want to know the more of Chiang Mai I mean Niman's cool but I just feel like there's more and I mean, from what I've been hearing and reading, I feel like there's more. So, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, do you think Niman is overhyped, overrated, and uh, what are some other places that um, you can recommend uh, for for uh, me and other people to explore that want to get out and know other um, perspectives of Chiang Mai? And yeah, I don't know if I said that the best way possible, but let me know what you guys think and uh, anything else. Hmm, I don't know. I'll probably talk about more of the cost of living here. I mean, I know there's a ton of videos on it, but I guess I'll do a little bit of my perception here. I mean, despite like Niman being, you know, more expensive, compared to the other places in Chiang Mai, like there are still some really cheap places um, that you can find to eat and drink here. You just have to look for them. I mean, it takes a lot of, you know, experimenting and going to different places, but I have found some pretty decently priced places, which I'll make a video about and show you guys. But uh, yeah, I think I'm ready to uh, get out of my Niman bubble and explore a new area and make more videos about that and uh, yeah so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and uh, I'll see you in the next one